What is the trick for leading with my hips? The trick for leading with my hips is being very, very, very passive and relaxed with my arms. That is the that is the trick that allows me to turn earlier. So I think I've said this in one of our last ones, but I'm going to say it again one more time. In a 100 mile an hour golf swing, the body moves five miles an hour. So I got this information. I think it was it came from Chris Como and George Ganka. So um, the body moves five miles an hour roughly, and the arms move 30 miles an hour. So that means my arms can move six times faster than my body. So if I go up to the top of my swing and I do this, my rotation can never catch back up to my arms. So if I was here, I'm going to have to be hanging back and throwing. Okay? So that's going to generally mean that you're accessing arm speed or a contraction in the muscle group there in the arms or the shoulder way too early. So what I do firstly, before I'd ever tell you to go and work on the pelvis, the first thing I'm going to tell you is I want you to be able to swing this up to the top and be really, really, really patient in the transition. So first things first, I'm not going to access any arm speed here, and I'm not going to use any rotation. This is, this is what my arms would do if I never accessed any rotation on the through side, and I kept my arms very chill throughout my motion. I would be here. That's how soft my arms are initially. And I'm going to feel like they stay that soft in my real motion until they get down to about P6. So right about here, my arms are staying super chill. This arm is still staying wide. I'm not pulling it into me, which is typically pulling your lead arm into you, but I'm going to keep my trail arm very wide. So you can see at P6, my hands are just behind my right leg or on my right leg, shafts parallel to the ground. And then this is where I would start to kick speed in. So if we do this again, just doing a very easy one with the arms, I'd go up to the top. And that's how relaxed my arms are. Now when I start to add turn, because now that I'm not trying to create any early arm speed, this is what's going to allow me to fit in my leg work and my pelvis work and get my spine into a position that I want where it's stabilized coming into impact. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go up to the top. Let me do this face on first. So I'm going to go up to the top. And now from here, I'm going to take my lead leg away from my trail leg to where my femur is in line with my foot. So this has the ability to start breaking and slowing down the lead side so I can speed up my trail side. So like we've said right here, the one thing, I, this is my favorite visuals from here. I'm working my left leg to get my pelvis and my legs back to square. I'm not letting my right leg go forward. I'm making my lead leg and I'm getting my butt to actually work backwards here. So when I do this in a freezer, I'm going to do this again without accessing any arm speed. So I'd go here, so that was all turn, no arm speed. I'm do one more like that for you. So that's all turn, no arm speed. Now, once I feel like this club gets down here to P6, that's where I'm gonna start to put the gas on. So I'm gonna do the same backswing speed, same transition speed, but I'm gonna gas it at P6. And that's what that would look like. So that's what I would do for leg work right there.